today I'm going to show you how to make these trousers on your central Mickey machine or your AliExpress machine. It's a very simple process that takes no longer than two to three hours. So in short, the pen is basically to do 200 rows circular knitting and then 40 rows flat knitting. But I'm going to show you all the steps uh, in this video. And this is the yarn I'm using. It's a yarn for 5mm needles. So start by casting on all needles and knit in circular mode. So I actually prefer to hold the yarn in this way instead and it's because I feel like I don't drop as many stitches when I hold it like this and you can control the tension a bit more. And now you're just gonna knit like this um, until you reach row 199. And then I'm going to show you how to go from circular knitting to flat knitting. So I just want to say that you should bear in mind that this uh, will be in one size. But they do fit most sizes because they will be very stretchy. And I am like a size medium and sometimes large. And I have tried them on my friend who's uh, extra small and then I tried it on my friend who is uh, slightly larger than me and we all fit them very nicely so they do fit like a range of sizes so now when you have reached row 199 you're gonna knit until you have two needles left and you're gonna transfer the stitch from needle 48 which is this white needle and you're gonna transfer it to needle 47 so the white needle should be empty it can be a little tricky but just make sure that you don't drop any other stitches. So yeah, here you can see that the white one doesn't have a stitch anymore. It should be empty. And I have actually accidentally dropped uh, the stitch from the f from the first needle uh, which can happen so just if it happens just correct it and the only needle that shouldn't have a stitch on it is the white one So now I have knitted 200 rows, which means that we will knit 40 rows in flat knitting. So you will crank backwards and the same as we just did, you're gonna knit until you have two needles left and then you're gonna transfer the stitch from needle one to needle two. And basically now I have done one row. You should now have needle 1 and needle 48 empty. 
and then make sure just to not drop any stitches and then you're just gonna crank that away and yeah just continue knitting like this in flat knitting and here I've done now two rows and you're gonna do 40 rows so these trousers are quite low waist if you want higher waist you could do like 60 or 70 rows maybe so now I've done 39 rows and I'm gonna do my last row and then add some waist yarn another thing I want to point out is that um, my go-to is that I do 200 rows for the legs and I am 165 centimeters tall but if you are taller I would suggest you do a, a bit more and if you're shorter a bit less uh, but it's still kind of difficult to say you just have to try uh, because depending on shape of your legs uh, that will also determine the rows how many rows you need maybe you have thicker thighs or s smaller thighs yeah and also depending on what yarns you use um, the trousers might be longer or shorter so you just basically have to try and see so now repeat everything and do another leg and when you have the two legs you are going to stitch the crotch together so I stitch them together using the mattress stitch I believe it's called um, I think it creates the most beautiful scene and I'm gonna try to show you how I do it but there are several videos on YouTube um, that explains how to do it so basically you're just gonna um, pick up like a stitch like this and yeah it's a little difficult to explain but maybe you understand if you see how I do it continue doing this all around and when you are finished it should look like this on the inside and you are almost done for the waistband I like to crochet uh, a string a long string so now you're gonna weave in the waistband in the last stitches and this is also why you have the waist yarn so it will be more easier to see where the needle should go and just make sure not to miss any stitch
take off the waist yarn and you are pretty much finished with the trousers just if you have any uh, loose threads uh, oh yeah and I like to tie a knot at the end of the waist band or waist string and just tuck in and tie every loose and you have like uh, at the bottom you will have this one just tie it and cut it and yeah that's it and you are finished for watching and if you like this video let me know and I can make more tutorials I am constantly trying to find new patterns with this machine I think my next video will be a tutorial on how to make this shrug because I think it will look really cool together with the trousers but for now you can find a pattern on my Etsy and I have some other patterns there as well and yeah, thank you for watching.